I, on point of order correction, I told the uh, leader of the majority that he's talking about 30 or whatever. We have enough maize in this country, and therefore, all we need to do is to make some corrections. I have no problem, but we have messed up the whole system. We had strategic food reserve uh, organization, which was scrapped, and they have, you know, the serious board, national serious board, doesn't even know where the mess is coming from and how it's going to be stored. So, Madam Speaker, I want to make it very clear that instead of now talking about GMO, let's talk about the future because we have enough. Now, somebody mentioned we can now sell, we can now be encouraged. The price of maize that we have expected was about 6,000 shillings. Give us 6,000 shillings, we release the, man, the, the, the maize to whatever store there. If it's uh, Transoya, we have enough stores in Transoya, empty stores in Transoya, and of course, even in uh, uh, Western Kishu, Western Province. Then let's now work on introduction of crops that grow, the maturity that can take less than uh, three, four months. There's that short uh, spell, uh, I don't know what they call it. Katumani. Uh, Katumani, I'm told. Introduce the crops that we can grow ourselves, indigenous crop, instead of getting things that I don't even know where they're coming from. I can tell you, every day, Madam Speaker, we are burying people, and it's because of cancer. We don't know whether that's because of the uh, GMO we're talking about, it comes in fruits, whatever, we are eating wrong things. So, Madam Speaker, all in all, we have enough maize. And therefore, let's now ask members, farmers in the region, we can even help the ministries, we can go back to our areas and tell the farmers to sell the maize to the National Cities Board, keep that maize, that maize is more than enough for the next uh, six, seven months, then, of course, we could be having another harvest. So this uh, question of this year more, if they have imported and uh, it's in Mombasa, this house should reject. The maize will be returned to where it's coming from because we have that enough, of the, enough of that maize. Madam Speaker, I also want to, um, to, to talk about uh, uh, irrigation. Let's have irrigation, not as a dry spell, but we are experiencing rain now. We can have irrigation in areas where, like a Kanana, 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 what is it called? Kanana Kulalu, where we have a lot of land. And go to Transoya. Transoya, we have ADC farms that are lying fallow. And I was yesterday, I even managed to meet the manager director of ADC, and we talked about it. Please, there's no shortage of food in this country, unless somebody has got uh, other interest, which of course, we don't want to say what it is, but we know that can also be a reason why they are urging that we actually import maize. For that, Madam Speaker, I want to say we should not allow, and I hope and believe that members here will reject, will reject that offer, and uh, the, 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 the maize can be returned to where it's coming from. I don't know where. They haven't been told us. I, I don't know where. <laughs> Whatever it's coming from, I think there's, unless there's an interest. I have no problem with my friend, there's the current uh, minister, I have no problem, he has been here, but that is a wrong move and we reject totally. Thank you. Thank you. Member for Tigania West, Honorable John Mutunga. If not in the House, Member for Keses, Honorable Julius Ruto. If not in the House, Member for Mgwen, Joseph Lelmegit. Okay, thank you uh, for indulging me, uh, Honorable sp uh, Speaker. I rise to uh, concur with the Member of Parliament for uh, Mosop, Honorable Kirwa, and support this uh, motion that he has stepped.